Hey guys, so I feel like this is crooked. I'm gonna say, I don't know, there's something wrong with this damn tripod. But I was gonna say, I've been putting this on hold for a while. Um, I'm trying to be perfectly in there. I've been putting this on hold for a while. I've been saying I'm gonna do this fitness update with y'all, share some tips with y'all. And it's just, it just hasn't been happening the way I wanted to. I got my boys running around here. Say hey. Hey. Go watch your Jurassic World movie. Go watch Jurassic World. Dinosaurs. You want to watch your mommy's home? But I need it. Well, I was going to say, and yes, I'm vlogging for today. So you're going to see me wearing the same outfit in a different vlog. Because it's his birthday today. But I was going to say, again, that I want to share my fitness journey with y'all. Okay, I'm just going to let him have my phone. I was going to go live with y'all, but I decided not to because I don't know my internet sucky, whatever. Here, go watch in the room on the bed. Go watch the bed. So, I'm going to start off with saying I use, I'm going to start from the beginning and tell you what worked, what didn't work, and my current status. So, that I did not fart. That's my feet. It made a noise. But I used to current I used to be 230 pounds. To me, that was a normal weight. I never thought I was fat. Anything. Actually, you know what? I need my phone. I need to show y'all some pictures. Okay guys, I'm back. So like I said, I used to be 230 pounds. Yes, I'm looking at my phone so I can show you before and after picture. Um and and I my normal weight was like 215. I'm not gonna lie. Like I said, I felt normal. I didn't feel fat or nothing like that. So, then I got pregnant with Nathan. Well, of course, I was pregnant with my other babies. But I was pregnant with Nathan. When I went into labor with him, I was 230. I only gained 15 pounds because I was normally 215. So, I was like, dang. I just kept looking at myself. I'm like, no, after I have my baby, I'm going to get in shape. I'm going to eat right. So, then I had Nathan. And... I think after I get breath, I actually went down to 190, but I was really, at like probably six weeks after I had him, I was 190, but I was really watching what I was eating, consuming, everything. I was like, for real, I'm going to lose weight. And I can tell you one thing, if I tell you one thing, the thing is, if you're going to lose weight, it's not going to be easy. It's not going to come off fast. It takes time to come on fast and it takes a lot of hard work and dedication. You got to really want it. The more you want it, the more it's going to come off. I mean, you can be dedicated for like a month, lose weight, and then gain it back. That's why people always say, oh, I don't want to do that because uh, they did it. They lost the weight then they gained double or whatever. Well, you know why people do that? Because they're not dedicated. This is a life change. It's not a moment change, not a month change. It's like you're going to be eating like this for the rest of your life if you really want to keep the weight off. It's a struggle sometimes. That's why I say I get depressed because, I mean, not depressed like I'm, you know, I just don't like to see myself in the mirror because I can lose weight. I got down to 159, guys. 159. But I want to get into that later. I... I and then I gained a little bit of it back because I was eating protein. Like I said, I want to get into it later. But that made me depressed about my weight because I can fluctuate. Sometimes I can lose weight. Sometimes I can gain it back. And I, it hurt. It like makes me feel bad about myself because I don't like to see myself like that. I know I can lose weight. I know I can look good. I know I can go for it. And to see the weight on me, it makes me feel fat, puffy. I don't want to wear certain clothes. And it's going to happen to all of us. We're all going to be there. Do we look fat and puffy? No. People will tell you, no, you don't. But in your eyes, in your mind, you do because we criticize ourselves more than anybody out there will criticize us for. Like, we are our biggest critic. Like, if, if you're not happy with yourself, no matter what anybody tells you, it will go in one ear and out the other because it's what how you see yourself. So when I saw that weight gain, even though I knew it was muscle weight, I was like, nah. Going back to what I was normally doing. I couldn't do it. I was not happy. I'm still looking for that before picture. But um, what I started doing after I had Nathan, going back to my story. After I had Nathan, what I started doing was, and I wouldn't recommend you to do it if, you're, if you don't have the finances for it. I mean, you could do it yourself at home. 
but I got HelloFresh. HelloFresh is like $100, $150 a week. It saved me going to the grocery store. That's what I was paying a week anyways in groceries. But I did HelloFresh. And with that, we, me and my husband both lost weight because that's eating healthy. It was meals like low calorie, everything, everything. I mean, you can't go wrong. You had your groceries there, ingredients, everything. It was easy to make. And I lost weight right there. I think I got to 175. I'm almost there. I got to 175 eating HelloFresh from 190 to 175. And I would say within two to three months of having Nathan. Let me see. Don't be mean to Nathan, okay? And then um, after that, I started going to the gym. Uh, once I was able to, I started going to the gym. And going to the gym, I didn't really see weight loss. I actually saw a weight gain or like I gained some weight and then I started losing weight but there's a different story in that also hold on okay guys I found one picture so far um here's a before look at my face just how I looked in general and I never thought I was fat or overweight which is crazy let me see if I find the other picture because it was like a closer picture and um so back to my story hello fresh helped me lose weight wow. then i started going to the gym and i gained some weight lost weight which when you start off you are going to gain weight because it's muscle weight that's muscle you didn't have muscle weighs more than fat so do not get discouraged just keep pushing you will see the light at the end of the tunnel eventually like i said it takes time it's not going to happen overnight it, it happens over months in time, you know, weeks. Um, so looking for this. So, started going to the gym, I was still 175. Still 175. A year passed, still 175. I've been going to the gym a year and five months now. Um, <coughs> no, Sean, no. Leave Nathan alone. Go watch that Jurassic World. Go watch Jurassic World. Go watch Cars on TV. Leave Nathan alone. Sorry, he's playing rough with his baby brother. Um, man, where's this picture at? I swear I've been scrolling down for a while now. Um, and I keep saying um, I don't want to get on y'all's nerves. I'm for real here to help motivate y'all. I really want to help. Um, I should almost be there. I hate when I can't find it and when I don't want to find it, I always run into that damn picture. Well, the thing is, HelloFresh helped, then going to the gym, I stayed the same way over a year. I didn't see any weight change or anything, and that kind of <laughs> discouraged me because I am addicted to the scale. I'll weigh myself every day. It doesn't matter. It doesn't, it just it gives me an eye view of, you know, what's going on with my body each day. So, I'm going to show you a picture of last year at 175, and then, um... Of course, you see me now at one set at 168 because I I'm still losing that extra weight I gained from the protein diet. But here's a picture of me last year at 175, and right now you can I'm basically just a few pounds less than that, and you can see you can tell a difference. So even though it's been a year, I still weigh basically almost the same. And I can get down lower. I know I can. My body's way more toned. Like, even though you never see the scale go down, you want to check your inches. That's more important. Your inches are going to go down. Your clothes is going to fit better. You might weigh the same, but you're going to look different if you compare pictures. Um, here's the picture from January. It's not focusing good. But I even look bigger right there, too, compared to now. And I weighed the same exact as I do now I fluctuate like I said so oh that's another thing don't go by the scale go by inches uh, measure yourself t like all the time don't look at the scale I look at the scale because to me it's for fun like it gives me a, a view of where I'm at like I said but I don't take it serious because inches is what's more important um, 
another thing um like I said, it takes time. I'm just trying to gather all the information, just to share. Uh, things I cut out of my diet when I had Nathan to help me lose weight. Soda, bread, tortillas, candy, cookies, cakes, chips. Um, I basically wasn't eating any of that. If you want, that's because I was dedicated to lose my weight. I still don't eat some of that stuff. I'll eat tortilla chips, but I won't eat regular chips, like bags of chips. Um, here and there I'll eat food. I gave up pizza, but like I'll eat pizza every now and then for special occasions. Um, I was eating Ezekiel bread to help incorporate more food in my diet, but I don't feel like that works out for me. Um, just incorporate more healthy foods, bake your stuff, eat more chicken, uh, instead of ground beef, do ground turkey. Like these are my ideas. Like that worked for me i'm not a health nutritionist or anything i'm just telling you what works for my body what works for my body might not work for half of y'all but it might work for some of y'all um y'all gotta take stuff here and there try stuff see what works and put it all together in your own little mix to see what works best for your body so like i said i'm 168 but i got down to 159. um how did i get down to 159 honestly another thing that helped me in losing weight which I don't know if I still have it on here is the my fitness pal which is right here I highly recommend you get this you tell it how much you are how many pounds you want to lose in the week and it'll tell you how many calories you need to eat in that week until you reach your goal and that helped me out big time because they had me watching what I ate logging down everything that I ate I would measure my food like I still do but not as crazy as I was that's probably why I don't see much of a weight weight loss right now but like I said the scale don't matter it's inches around your body so um get the my fitness pal I'm not sponsored by them they are a great 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 app and it's free like I said that helps you start jotting down because then you'll realize how much you actually ate. You don't realize how much you eat so you start writing it down. You're like, damn, I ate all that. Shit, that's a lot of calories. You know what I mean? Like, it's going to tell you what's up, you know. And then you open your eyes and you say, okay, I'm going to cut that in half. That's what you do. Then you start gradually working that healthy food in. Like I said, more veggies, more fruits. People don't like fruits because it has a lot of sugar. I still eat fruits and it works out for me. Another thing that works out. And I hope this is not just too everywhere. That works out for me. After 8.30, I stop eating. And I don't start eating again until 10 or 11 the next day. That means I'm fasting during that time. Fasting helps with weight loss and burning that fat off of your body. So, that's another hint. So, going back to my meal plan that I did with protein. I was consuming. They told me that you have to consume your body weight in grams of protein. So, I was doing that. 168 grams of protein a day. And almost two months I gained 15 pounds but I'm not gonna lie I saw the difference I did get thicker they say you get thicker when you eat protein I got thicker and I did I did see the muscle and I I took a before and after picture I saw the muscle I was happy with the muscle I ain't gonna lie I felt like buff but I felt fat at the same time yeah I gained weight yes it was muscle weight pure muscle weight some fat because I wasn't eating healthy at that time. Jay, help him. And, um, I mean, I would say lose weight first, then work on gaining muscle. Because you are going to gain weight. And it might not make you happy, but you got to keep in mind that it's muscle weight, not fat weight. So here's that before picture. Here's a before and after. That was me at 2.15. Imagine 2.30. And this is me at 168 on the side. Basically what I am right now. So, I mean, you can do it. And let me show you the before and after picture of um, me with the protein and without protein. So this is where I got down to 159. My picture of 159. And then my new picture of 175 um, with the protein. Let me see. One second. And, and I'm going to tell you another thing that helps in weight loss, going to the gym. You do not have to die killing yourself going to the gym a lot of times. I go three hours a day. 
five days or six days a week i don't care i like it and they have daycare my kids like going there with their friends and stuff and they take good care of my babies and i can see them 24 7 i just go spy on them here and there so go to the gym uh, if you want to get muscle lift weights if you um it's recommended to do at least one hour of cardio 30 minutes cardio um you can do it at home search on youtube at home exercises at home cardio uh things for you to do hey look get the toy look look it up you need to do cardio every day basically um but go to the gym for sure that's going to help tone your body and help you lose some extra fat that you want with the cardio i'm telling you so i'm hoping this video makes sense because I'm not trying to be everywhere, but things come to mind when I'm going over this with y'all. And it reminds me of stuff. So, where's that picture? One second, guys. I'm still looking for that picture. Ay, 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 ay. Why does it take so long? Why can't I just have this in one, one section? Let me see. No. Um... But definitely do the gym. If you can't go to the gym, do do at home workouts. Like I said, I'll be posting some at home workouts or workouts that you can do at home. I post videos of our classes that we do. Um, that has at home workouts that you can do on it. Also, I would just say, if you're dedicated, get on it. You know, it's easy. It takes a long time. It can be frustrating. It puts you in a slump. Like, why am I killing myself going to the gym? But yet. I don't see no weight loss. Like I said, inches matter. That's all that matters. Here's the before and after picture. On this side is 159. No protein, really. Well, protein, but not really. And this side is 175, all protein, all day. Like, you can tell the difference in my arm. So I cut back doing the protein, and I don't have as much muscle in my arm, but I still have it right there. The cuts, and it's not just my arm, it's my body. Um, but since i've also cut i've seen my face go down it takes time i also do detox teas i mean i always in my vlogs recommend detox teas i have this one that i'm using that i highly recommend i put in my new vlog that will be up after this also like creams that help you sweat more while you're at the gym um waist trimmers anything you can do extra i would say invest in it I mean, if you can't go to the gym, you can buy bands. I bought bands. Do at-home exercises with the bands. I'm telling you, those will have your booty hurting. Those are great booty, booty uh, workouts to help get a booty. It's also cardio because you're sweating. Uh, you can use those bands for cardio, weight, training with your own body weight. Um, anything. So I would say invest in some bands. I just bought some, which I took a picture of because I was showing another friend. And I saw this. Um, through another youtuber and they're very thick bands like the ones you do want and they're called four four another another thing i'm not sponsored by them um they're very thick i would say get these if you want to do at home exercises and like i said i will be sharing some band exercises on one of my vlogs and you will be sweating your butt off like i did some the other day in the afternoon and i swear i was sweating i didn't think i was gonna work out that much but i did um so that's my advice i hope i was not everywhere i hope this helps somebody if it does let me know if you have any personal questions message me i have a instagram account i do post like videos when i'm at the gym i do bike class um i do all the classes they offer basically at my gym and this is my instagram channel page my instagram page the anaya fam bam go ahead follow me you don't have to if you don't want to like i said i post a lot here in like every day more than i vlog more than i post on my youtube so follow me there i will be putting meal preps on there i will be sharing my meals on there um I love to do story time. My story time, I do my videos from the gym. Like I said, go follow me there. If you have any questions, personally message me here or comment down below so other people can see and they might, you know, they're scrolling through, they might see something that catches their eye and it might help them, your questions. Um, if not, Instagram, message me. You know, I'm good on there too. I'm more responsive on 
response. I respond to the pastor there. Um, and um, that's the only social media I have, but I try to share as much as I can there and I'm for real getting down on it. So I'm like dedicated to help y'all lose weight, help myself get back to 159. I've never been that low in my entire life, so I'm so happy. Um, another thing is, um, Subscribe if you haven't for more videos. Let me know what y'all want to see down below. If there's anything I can help y'all out with. If I'm going to get my bands on today is Monday, Wednesday. I will show y'all and then I will do some videos with them. Um, if you need any help with meal plans, I can help. I know some stuff. Like I recommend if you're going to do meal plan, you do four ounces of any meat you have and two ounces of any side that you have. And have two sides, one meat. And... For me, eating very frequent, frequently does not work for me. They will tell you eat every two hours, this, that, especially if you're going to the gym as much as me. Did not work out for me. Common sense, you're going to eat more, you're going to gain more. That's in my eyes, and it did happen. So, I recommend do what works for your body. I only eat twice a day, probably one snack in between. Depends what my body tells me if I'm more hungry. But also, I drink water all day. Like, when I say all day, I mean all day. I would recommend drinking a gallon of water a day. And if you can, more, more. I mean, water doesn't hurt. Um, drink green teas. I drink green teas. I drink hibiscus tea. It gets the water weight off. Um, detox tea from Kroger's. It helps get that bloating out, too. So, I mean, ask me any questions down below. I tried a lot of stuff. I can tell you what worked for me, what didn't work for me. If you want me to try or have any ideas of something that might work, let me know. You might be able to help me out. You know what I mean? So let's help each other out. Subscribe if you haven't. Follow me on Instagram. Let's get this weight loss journey cracking. Like, I'm almost there, but I'm never going to quit. Like I said, this is a life journey, not a um, small go or it's a long-term goal like this is for life you know what i mean so if you're ready to take that chance and get dedicated and get motivated to lose weight follow me follow me connect with me let's get this thing going together you know what i mean i'm willing to help anybody else. like i said i'm not an expert but i love to help and i would love somebody in my eyes i never thought i can get down to 159 168 Mom. i was 230 215 Mom. and looking back at my pictures i was fat I'm like, oh my god, I was freaking huge and I never noticed it until you lose weight and that's when you notice it. So take the first step. Let's get it on. Let's get it together. I'll see you on the next video. If you have any questions, I'll do a Q&A. It does not matter. Let me know what y'all want to know. Meal plan, things that work for me, things that don't work for me, anything. I'll see you on the next video. I know I talked too much and I said bye like four times, but this is Spurrows. Bye.